and that's the canal. I can't get in it. Hmm. So what I want you to do, giving it to you right now, I'm not going through the slides on it. I see the white spot, I can't get in it. Put in Qmix, which you're going to get from Tulsa, and you're going to activate it for 10 minutes with the endo activator. So you need the endo activator. Come back in 10 minutes, it'll be patent. That's hydroxyapatite jammed in the entrance and the Q-mix, which is to remove the smear layer, and it has surfactant in it so it can penetrate better. It'll be patent. And you, you can sit there for 10 minutes to the endo activator if you want, but you won't do it. You'll think it's 10 minutes, it'll be 10 seconds. Let me try that file. So you really must walk away from it. Call me. You know, just dial my number 10 times or something. Something to restrain yourself. Go to the bathroom. And it'll be patent. So that little canal that you can't get down, you found the hook, you started it, but you can't get down it. And as you try to get down it, you make it worse because you actually block it. So better to never do that because you could go deeper, but at some point you're, you're pretty deep. I'm already scared. So that's deep enough. And do Qmix, 10 minutes, endo activator, flush it with water because so, the bubbles will be gone. Six file, that's the pink one, little curve on it. Hold it, the handle, you got your microscope, well not yet, but you got loops now, and you just slide it in there, ah, oh, there it goes, and then I'll talk, talk to you about following shortly. The other thing you can use is the ultrasonics, which are also very useful. So the neat thing here is you can, here it is, the ultrasonic is you can zzzz, and air, the dental assistant's air, so and the dental assistant knows where the air is because she's right there with you, and you can slide this down until bing, there's the tunnel, then you treat it, and all that effort, and jeez, I can't believe it, all that effort, and they come together. Oh well, but maybe there's a branch off it, who knows. But then when you take your distal view, <laughs> they were separate after all. Okay. Um, this is by Eric Herbranson, he's a really clever endodontist in uh, Oakland, and I can't, he, he shows this example of MB1, MB2, and MB3. So I give these real names. This is MB, MP, and that's MPP. And it, watch what happens. Here, this little shelf, so what you're going to learn is to chop this out up on the axis so you can drop into MB2, which you've heard is in a lot of the canals, and a lot of them are separate too. So look at this. There's the original line, and there it is compared to the tunnels. See, they move forward, mesial. Can you see that? Duck, so you can see. So here's another example. On the left, there's the line. See that little white dot? That's the orifice. Then the file goes in it, and as you move this triangle up, it moves over to here. So it started there. See, there it is. Started there, which is on the right. This is where it started, and this is where it ended up. Wow. Okay, got that? That's a triangle. So you have anterior triangles, we have posterior triangles. So when you have skinny canals or shrunken down, you're going to have, you need, we need our magnification and we need our color maps. And if you're in white area, that's the wrong area. You want to stay in brown or, or uh, kind of a gray color.